Welcome into another 2021 Miami football position breakdown as the Red Hawks are in fall camp. And today we want to talk about the Red Hawk defensive secondary, the defensive backs, uh, safeties, cornerbacks. And again, uh, one of those areas where one of the team leaders, Mike Brown, is back there. Uh, you've got great experience back there in Sterling Weatherford and other experience as well, but some great young talent as well, Coach. Yeah, no, and it's, it's an experienced group. Obviously, Sterling Mike have played four years, oh, yeah. you know, and have been the anchors and the quarterbacks of our defense and the playmakers. And Mike Brown with his pick sixes and his big plays. And Sterling, obviously, he's run pass game. And, you know, they're two of the most dynamic safeties. Then you got, you know, Cedric Boswell started last year at field corners, a three-game season, but he was our starter. Jane Rucker furlough has started during mm -hmm. his career at corner. We're really, really high on John Saunders. He's got a way to go. Uh, experience and maturity, but John's coming and he's going to come and he's going to get there for us. Mm -hmm. um, so you got three corners you feel pretty good about. Um, Cecil at safety, you know, he rotated last year at Salapec. They were co starters right. at Nickel. They rotated. They both, you know, they, they played 50% of the reps. So you, you got two kids that have, you know, started in a short window uh, that in Salapec and, and Cecil. Cecil can play Rover at Nickel and Salapec can play free in Nickel. Um, and then there, there's a bunch of other young kids we like. Obviously, you got Jamar Mundy and Tubbs coming in from Cincinnati. We're excited about those guys. Mm -hmm. Makai Miller, Ambe Codwell, you know, TJ Rush. Uh, one other guy I'm forgetting in that list. Oh, uh, Quez Warren are all second year guys that have shown they got some ability mm -hmm. now, the, and they're coming and they're fighting. So, they're, again, the starters, there's going to be some battles for the corner position and the nickel position, but the, there's a pretty good core group there. The backups, it's going to be a free throw. Much like you're talking about, there's, there's going to be fighting for five backup positions because we play five DBs. You know, there's going to be 10, 12 guys fighting for five. And again, some are going to surface, some are not. It's, uh, this is a big camp for a lot of those young kids just because we're too talented back there for you to get past the by guy in your own grade. Right. So it's, it's, there's been other years where these guys would easily be in our two deep, but we have developed enough talent, and that's going to spill over hopefully to really good special teams play because we got a lot of guys that can run around athletically. Um, there's a very long list of DBs. We've been trying to build it. Um, and again, the – I'll, you know, they're the key of the season. I don't care what anybody says. The quarterback, the O-line, like, if your DBs play well, you're always going to have a chance. If your DBs don't play well, you get the ball thrown over your head, it's the game ends in a hurry. That's how it works. How much more of a responsibility is it for a guy, say, back up to Mike Brown, to, to get in there or Sterling Weatherford to get in there and be able to be that quarterback because you rely on that secondary to be the quarterbacks for your defense? Yeah, no, they organize everything. They're just like the quarterback on offense. If there's anything in-game that has to change on the field, they've got to manage it. And it's not just knowing it, it's the ability to communicate to it, see it across the whole board. Like 11 guys, if they decide they see something and want to go to a different coverage or a different front or a different pressure, it's not just, hey, they saw it, they identified it, but also then they got to get it amongst ranks. And that's where the communication, that's why I talk about them being the quarterbacks of defense along with McWood at Mike. The communication runs through. And again, we're really good at that. We have moments when we're not, and when we're not, we're not very good on defense. So right. it's so critical with all the fast-paced offenses and all the formations we see and all the motions we see. There's a lot of moving parts. That all, that's why offense scores so many points. And, and those guys are very critical. And, and, and again, it used to be not that hard to get lined up on defense. Nowadays, it's pretty hard. We talk about more on the offense when we return to our next uh, show. We'll talk about the Miami quarterbacks. Great position group to break down for you on our next report here on MiamiRedHawks.com.